Hello there, this is Tarek Orabi from Vaden. In this video, I'll show you how to deploy a Vaden application to Heroku Cloud. Please note that the instructions included in this video are also available in Vaden documentation. There you'll find also instructions on how to deploy a Vaden application to other cloud providers, namely to AWS, Azure, and to Google Cloud. All right, to begin, you have to make sure that you have a valid Heroku account. You can go to heroku.com and sign up for a free account there. Also, you have to make sure that you have the Heroku CLI installed. You can find instructions on how to install Heroku CLI from the Heroku website. Once the CLI is installed, you need to set it up by opening a terminal and entering the command Heroku login. This will prompt you to open a new browser tab to log in and authenticate your Heroku account. Press any key, it will open a new browser window and I will log in using my Heroku credentials. Now if I go back to the terminal you'll see that I have been authenticated. We need also to install the Heroku plugin for Java using the command Heroku plugins install Java. And this will take a moment to install. Okay, so once installed that's it for the Heroku CLI. Uh, what we need then is just an example project to work with and for that I'll go to store.vaden.com and download an example project from there. Just to illustrate I will add one more view, master detail view and I will also change the Java version from the settings to Java 17 instead of Java 11 and let's rename the application to Heroku app and hit download of course this is just a, an example to to work with to deploy the application to Heroku and that's it we'll get the zip file unzip it once unzipped, you can of course open the project in the IDE and start editing it as you may like. But for the purpose of this video, I want to focus only on the uh, deployment to Heroku part. So I will not edit it and I will not open it in the IDE. But what we need to do, however, is to tell Heroku that uh, we have a Java 17 project. By default, Heroku expects project to be on Java 8, so we need a way to tell Heroku that ours is a Java 17 project. And in order to do that, we need to create a new file and name it uh, system.properties. We need then to open this file in a text editor and change its content to say java runtime equal no sorry java runtime version equal 17. so this is just how we will tell heroku to set up a java 17 environment for our application and that's it we save and that's all the changes that we have to do uh, before we actually deploy the application to Heroku. To start the actual deployment, we have to go back to the terminal, but this time we need to change directory to be uh, in the same uh, project directory. So my project is under C dev Heroku tutorial Heroku app directory, so I have to cd there. And what we first need to do is to create uh, a jar of our application. So we can do that using the command mvn package minus p production. 
and that will take a moment to complete but once completed we will have a jar of our application that we then uh, can do uh, can upload to Heroku okay now the production pack package is created under target Heroku app one snapshot so if I go to my project directory I'll find the jar under the target folder right here Heroku app one snapshot the jar and what uh, I need then to is to create um, a Heroku application or initialize a Heroku application so that we can upload uh, this jar file there and in order to initialize a Heroku application we enter the command Heroku create and that will create an application for us with a random name here you can also supply uh, a specific name if you want but uh, make sure that you supply your unique name so if you uh, go again and create a new application you cannot use the same name twice here without supplying a name uh, Heroku has generated um, this name for us we have to take note of this name so I'm copying it and now this application has been created for us in Heroku what we want to do is to take this jar and upload it there and in order to do that we enter the command Heroku deploy uh, what was it Heroku deploy jar and then we need to supply the name of the jar that we have just created so Heroku app deploy jar and Heroku one snapshot this is the path to our jar and then we need to supply the name of the application so we say uh, app and we have to provide this name so we are telling Heroku to upload this jar to this app name and hit enter and then that will start taking our jar and upload it to, uh, to Heroku Cloud it will take a moment the wheels are turning and that's it and if everything goes well you will see that the application has been deployed and if you open this in the browser you should hopefully see the same application that you have created uploaded to Heroku Cloud yes that's all I hope you found this video useful and see you in the next one